Wait, hold on. I think I just heard someone say that MIUI is awesome. Okay, so let's admit it. More than 50% of us who buys a smartphone from Xiaomi or Poco these days wants to get rid of MIUI as soon as they can possibly and load up stock Android to their phones courtesy of the many custom ROMs out there like Pixel Experience, Project Elixir, Dot OS and so much more. But there's just one small catch right there and that is the fact that before you go ahead and wipe off your operating systems and replace it with a completely different one, you need to have something called an unlock bootloader because that is essentially the first step to greatness if you know what I mean. Well, today's video is all about that. So let me show you guys how you're going to unlock your phone's bootloaders but before we go ahead and do that, here's a quick disclaimer that I'm just here for the tutorial and in no ways am I saying that you guys should or you must go ahead and do the steps that I'm about to mention. So please do this at your own risk because I'll not be held responsible if you do end up doing something stupid to your phones. Alright, so with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so before you start, please ensure to back up everything in your phone like important documents, images and so much more because once you go ahead and unlock your phone's bootloaders, your phones will actually perform a full factory reset and there's no going back. So please ensure you do that beforehand. And one more thing, please don't be shy to refer to the video description as you'll find download links to many files and other documentations that I'll be referring to throughout the video. Alright, now for this particular video, I'll be referring to my Redmi Note 10 Pro that I purchased recently. But keep in mind that this is applicable to each and every Xiaomi or Poco device that has been launched in the recent times. So feel free to follow along. Alright, let's get to it. So to follow along, you'll be needing some tools like a computer to work with, which has to be a Windows PC. Sorry Mac and Linux users. And then you'll be needing a Type-C cable, preferably the one that came with your phone. And yes, your smartphone, obviously. So first off, we need to prepare our phone for unlocking the bootloader. So let's go to settings, then head over to about phone, and then tap on the Mi UI version number 7 times to enable the developer options. Then head back to settings and scroll down a bit to where it says additional settings and then tap on developer options. Now here make sure that OEM unlocking is enabled and then scroll down to where it says Mi unlock status. Here you need to link your phone with a Mi account and this is where the waiting process of 7 freaking days begins. But oh well, that's Xiaomi for you people. Oh and one more thing, please do the linking process by switching off Wi-Fi and turning on mobile data because that is the only way to do so. Now obviously I did this whole linking thing the day I got the phone, so now I can head over to the next step which is to enable USB debugging. So let's get back to developer options and enable the USB debugging option if it isn't enabled already. And boom, a stupid pop-up gets shoved down to your face just like that, wasting 10 seconds of your valuable life. Well, that's Xiaomi to you once again, so just wait for the timer to finish and then tap on this checkbox and hit OK. And that's pretty much all we need to do right now. So go ahead and grab the USB cable and let's connect our bad boy to the computer. Alright, so now coming over to our computers and I'm sure you've already downloaded these two zip files onto your systems, right? So let's go ahead and extract them real quick. There you go. Okay, so first off we need to head over to the platform tools folder and well, what do you know? Another platform tools, yay! Now once you're inside this folder, click on the address bar right here and type in CMD. This will launch a command prompt window in our current folder. Okay, so let's type in our very first command which is ADB space devices and then hit enter. So let's see what happens. Okay, so our device is detected but it's showing unauthorized. So basically all you need to do is to get over to your phone and if you see this kind of a pop-up, just tap on yes and you should be good to go. Alright, now we are back to our PCs. So hit the up arrow key to repeat the last command that we used and press enter. And yeah, now we are talking. So ADB now has full access to our phone. Great. Alright, if by any chance your phone is not getting properly recognized on your PCs, it might happen that there's an issue with your USB cable or the device drivers for your particular phone or even both. So please have them verified and once you're done with that, repeat the steps that we did so far and you'll see that your phone is getting properly recognized on your PCs. So no issues with that. Okay, so now you need to reboot your phones to the fastboot mode. So let's type in ADB space reboot space bootloader and then hit enter. And now your phones should be in the bootloader aka the fastboot modes. An easy way to confirm it will be to check your phone screen. Now previously we used to get a Mi Bunny logo and after the Mi UI 13 update, it's just this hideous looking red fastboot text which I don't know, no comments. Okay, so let's see if we still have access to our phones. So let's type in fastboot space devices and now you should see the same serial number with the word fastboot next to it. 
So we are good to go with the next step, which is to open up the me unlock tool. So let's get back to the root directory and navigate to me unlock. Scroll down a bit and double click on the me flash unlock exe file. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize the background window. Let's agree to all these. And now you'll be greeted with this page where you basically need to sign in to the same me account that you used to link your device to. So let's go ahead and do that real quick and I'll be back in a moment. Alright, once you're logged into your me account, you should see this page on your me unlock tool. It basically tells you what the consequences are once you unlock your bootloaders. So if you want, you're welcome to read through. But once you're done with that, all you need to do is click on the unlock button. And as you can see, Xiaomi is not yet done with bombarding pop-ups. So let's keep them coming and let us continue clicking the unlock button. And then finally, you should be seeing me unlock carrying out the unlocking process. Let's wait for it to finish. Now, if by any chance you don't get success in the first attempt, just press the unlock again button. And this time I think it should unlock the bootloader successfully. Now, once the bootloader is unlocked, our phones should reboot automatically. If it doesn't, just hit the reboot phone button. So back to our phone, you'll now see this unlock icon appearing on the splash screen, denoting that you've unlocked your bootloader. And like I mentioned before, our phones will be wiped off completely and restored to the state it came from the factory. So give it some good time to boot. But here in the video, we'll not be waiting that long. So with a little bit of editing magic, we can skip the setup process. And now we are back to our home screen. Alright, now let's head over to the settings and go to about phone one more time. Then tap on me UI version number seven times to re-enable the developer options and then head back over to additional settings and then tap on developer options. Now, if you scroll down just a little bit and tap on me unlock status, you should be getting the same message like I have here saying our device has been unlocked successfully. All right, so that ladies and gents is how you unlock your phone's bootloaders. And now you're officially ready to try out any custom ROM that you possibly want. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, definitely hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because more custom ROM videos are coming pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. So this is me, Rohit, signing off. I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching.